Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to create an e-commerce website. I would like to use Node.js, MongoDB, Express in the back end. For the front end, I use React.js and Undesign. I also use Stripe to process the payment. Let's have an overview of the application. This is the home page with the slider and the product list. We can filter product by keyword. Or we can filter by category, price. And we can click here to get more product based on the filter. I clear the filter and click on load more so that we can get more products. We can view the product details by clicking on this icon. To add the item to the cart, you need to log in. If you haven't logged in, you will see the message authentication will fail. You need to log in. So, I will log in with my existing user and now you can add the item to the cart. I also add the item to the cart by enter the quantity. I also add another item let's add this chicken and let's also add this item then i click on the card page in the card page i can update the item quantity i click here and change the quantity and click on save i also want um, change the quantity for this item I hit save and I can also remove the item from cart and the total amount will change accordingly finally I click on checkout I enter the cart number did it just the test account number then I've entered the expired date, the security number, and click pay. You will see this success message, and the card item is clear. Then we click here to go to the home page and we can make another purchase to view your order history hover on the account menu and click on order history in this page you can view what you have purchased click on the plus icon to expand the order details and that's really much it to get started you need to download the Moon of Boilerplate repository from my GitHub page. This is the auth application that I have done in the previous tutorial. If you want to know more about the auth application, I recommend you to watch my previous tutorial, JWT authentication using Moon stack. But to go faster, I just want to use, reuse it. You can click here to download my repository. After you download it, just rename the folder to, let's say, Moon eCommerce. Or you can name it with any name you want then open it in the terminal 
then run npm install and after that we go to the client folder and run npm install again i already installed so i don't need to do it and then we go back to the to the root folder and open it in the code editor let's have a look on the super structure this is the um, react client folder with redux has been set up already we have all the functions for the authentication such as register login log out chain and reset password and i also and i also added some styling for the mobile responsive in the back end we have authentication middleware model browse and not mailer and don't forget to add the doc env file and boot the private keys for login and reset password then go back to the terminal and run npm run dev open the web browser and we can see the app is running now we will create a slider in the home page let's go to the undesign website and i click on component and search for carousel We will choose the um, carousel strong automatically. I will copy the content style. I go back to my code editor and looking for the home.js file. Let's import. Also from undesign. I already repair three panel shutters. I just need to. I will I will rack it here and go back to the home chess file. Let's import one one from let's say Access image one one. Then I copy. Number two, number three, and then I will. I cut it and let create a render function. To say render slider render slider and I paste the carousel here. Then let's change it to image tag with the S with the short 
Tano one. And then I just copy it. Banner two. And then Banner three. Let's remove it and we close the tag. We need to return it. And let's set the the width of the banner into one hundred percent. I save it and go back to my web browser and we can see our three panels in the slider. In the next video, I will implement the API for the products and display the products in the homepage. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.